have this 28 here with some errors. Um, let's see what error codes we get. Um, I haven't tried it yet or I haven't looked at it yet. So let's do it together. Uh, the first east of error. Okay, so we see the X top right corner, so we know the error is present. 01E7. So 01E7 normally is linked uh, to center switch, slew center switch, which is uh, right there. So that guy here. Okay, so something is not right with that switch, so I will have a look into it. Um, and I think there was more problems with the PSYOP, so we'll do this one first and then we're gonna go into PSYOPs. So I got the multimeter out, i um, gonna do some voltage checks. So I just want to check something quickly here, where we go to safety inputs. Slew centered is red, you see? So now, I don't know why. But if you open the base control box and you look here at the bottom, you have a wire slew out and slew in. Okay. So these wires are actually signal wires. And if you look a bit higher here, right there, you have a slew feed. So this wire is feeding the 12 volts to the switch and that is terminal 15. All right, so that's terminal 15. So it's feeding slew switch. So it goes from here, as soon as switch the machine on, that's on the positive rail. So it goes straight to switch and then the signal's coming back on slew out or slew in, depending on the slew switch position. And that is on terminal 37. So I'm going to try to measure a slew feed first. So I go on the terminal 15, bottom, uh, terminal 15 on the bottom, and we have 14 volts, so the feed is good. Now, slew in and slew out. So let's test the slew out first. So that's on terminal 37, the center one here. And we have zero which is good possibly and the next one is slew in so slew in we should have some voltage on it yeah so one should have voltage and one shouldn't so and we have nothing there as well or we have a 0.8 of volt so that's why it's picking up the error so one of those should be open so one of them should have no voltage and the next cable should have voltage on it so I will try to slew it in the center now because I think that slew is not centered. So I'll try to slew it in the center and see if the voltage is gonna change. So now the switch is centered, is in a relaxed position. Uh, let's do the voltage measurement again. So we're going on the slew out. Uh, we're still having zero. And on the slew in, We're still having 0.8 volts, okay? So that's that's where the error is being picked up uh, by the master PLC. And um, yeah, so I think you see the way something happened with the cable or the switch. So I will remove the bracket and then we go inspect the switch together. So got the switch out. Visually, it seems okay. So the plugs was all right, the cabling is okay. So I'm gonna take the screwdriver to open this to see what's inside. Let's open this up. All right. There we go. I think, I, <laughs> I think you can see where the problem is. Crazy. Okay, let's take the switch off. It's not even point cleaning up. I'm just gonna put a new one on and that should solve the problem for sure. Uh, new switch is fitted on. So it's all working fine. Everything is nice and tight here. If you need a part number, it's a P33070. So 
So let's put this on and test it out and see if it's gonna be a fix. So the new switch fitted on, all plugged in. Error has disappeared. Let's do the voltage checks now. So now we got slew out. Uh, what we have on slew out, we have nothing, zero volt. And slew in, I think slew in should have a voltage then. Yeah, slew in we have a 14 volt. And then if you go on uh, safety inputs on display, we see the slew is centered. So I'm gonna slew it out of center now and we're gonna do the same checks again. So we out of center now, switch has triggered. Um, safety inputs, slew centered is red. Let's do the voltage quickly. So slew out. We got 14 volts now. We had the zero before. And slew in now, then shouldn't have no voltage. Yeah? So slew in 0 0.8 as before. Okay, so it's all good. That's fixed. Um, and it's working correctly. So just remember two signal wires one should have voltage and one shouldn't. And when you slew out of center or back in the center, they should swap over. So we had uh, no voltage on slew out, but we had a voltage on slew in, and now I slewed it out of the center. So I have a voltage on slew out, but no voltage on slew in. So the next problem was here to do the psyops and the uh, psyops triggering uh, for no reason, or as the customer says, being too sensitive. So I'm gonna look into the wiring here, put inside the console. Everything is, looks very nice and clean, well looked after. Um, there are PSYOPs sensors on each side of the console. And I'm gonna try to see if I can trigger the PSYOPs just by moving the wires around. Um, as the customer said, it goes into PSYOPs and it does not reset. So. Not too sure what the problem is, but at the moment it doesn't do that. So if I go into Cyops, if I'm pushing the console down now, I've got a light flashing here. I've got a Cyops warning on display. If I let it go, it cleared down. So it's ha it has reset it again. So we got the Cyops again, warning. Let it go. It did the reset. And uh, it does look like it's not a problem with the wiring because everything seems okay here. So I think I will have to take the covers off here and just to see what's happening uh, with the switches. So that's uh, left hand side switch switches. So I will try to move those wires around and see if I can trigger Cyops fault. Maybe it's a broken wire somewhere or the switch problems here. So let me do that and uh, we will see. So <laughs> what I found here is that um, if I push this right hand side of console slowly, yeah, I push it slowly in, it goes into PSYOPs and I release it slowly. It goes out of PSYOPs, yeah? All good. If I do the same thing on this left hand side, I push it in, let it go. Oh, it did work now. Okay, previously what's happened, it stayed in the side, so do it again. Push it in slowly. So that's pushed in, release slowly. Okay, now it's working. But that's the only thing I was able to find. Push it in. Now it's working every time now. I don't know what else to do with this. I don't see any problems with the wiring, everything works a bit. They, they are a bit loose. I think I'm gonna adjust this screws a bit. So there's not so much play in the console because now it feels like it's quite a bit of play on it. So 
then maybe when you're driving it's shaking about and then maybe you can do something trigger so I have readjusted uh, this bolt uh, a bit closer should be around uh, 1.3 1.5 mil um, I will test it a bit more but I think that's gonna be fine um, the gap was way too big and it was too much play on a console uh, now it seems a bit better and once we're gonna put a cover in it then it's gonna be just perfectly fine um, so the cover shouldn't fit in that gap without actually pushing the psyops uh, switch okay and I think that's what we got now um, if I put a cover in it here we still have some gap in there so it's not actually pushing on a spring so let's try it out it's working fine the, the only concern was that if I push on this corner slowly and I let it go slowly it used to stay um, I didn't get this on a camera but it, it did happen to me possibly four or five times in a row so but now every time I release it's alright and um, yeah we'll test it a bit more with the covers on and then uh, we see from there so assembled with the covers now so what I had to do a bit adjust on this side because once I put a cover on it was pushing the bolt already so I adjust it up a bit more but now you can see the console is much more steady and is not shaking around and I think that was happening the console was too loose and when driving over the bumps it was triggering the psyops but everything is working perfectly fine now there is no more issues here yeah so it's all good so I tested the machine more and uh, I, can't, I can't get it to fail and uh, I'm happy the way the console is now so it's good to go